always being asked, how can I do your class when I'm home? So this is for my students. We start with a little breath awareness. Telescope to spine on the inhale. Expand the ribs. As you exhale, keep your heart up and let it go. The navel is going to the back of the spine. And remember, if you're grabbing your bundas or your locks at the top of the inhale, grab mula bunda, the perineum, the kegel muscle, hold it all the way through the exhale, you're lifting and drawing up, so you're feeling, starting to feel this internal healing. When you finish, you release the lock, inhale, you grab that lock again, you exhale, you're lifting, this is my perineum, I'm lifting and drawing up, letting it out. And I'm only going to hold most of these poses for one or two breaths. You can hold them for five or ten. It's all up to you. First, I want to demonstrate Kapalabhati, the breath of fire. It's an active exhale, passive inhale. I'm going to go sideways, so hopefully you can see my belly. Just exhale. The inhale comes so fast, all you have to do is remember to exhale, 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 exhale. Ideally, we stop, take cleansing breaths and do that for 10 minutes a day or less. Agni Sari, you dump all the air out, retain the breath, and then pump the belly. So it's like this. You can hold your nose because it's easy to cheat. Retain the breath, pump your belly. Classic spinal twist. Raise your hands to the sky. Exhale, left hand on right knee. Inhale, telescope your spine, expand your ribs. Exhale and descend. We'll go straight to the other side. Normally you take five breaths or more here. Telescope expand. It's more about the straight spine than the twist. As you exhale, grab Mula Bunda, go into your twist. Let's come to tabletop. Cat and cow. So I'm going to do this a little closer to the camera. We exhale into cat. It's like a, you're doing a handstand here with your hands. Chin lock. Slightly lean forward as you hold the breath. Come back. Look up, try to look at the wall behind you, hold your breath, slightly lean forward, carpal tunneling the hands, come back and repeat on your own. Spinal balance, right hand, left leg. And that might be here today, <laughs> it might be here. As we exhale, we're grabbing root lock, mula bundle, pulling it in tight, internal yoga. How tight can you squeeze the internal you? You inhale back out. Other side, make it a dance. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale, tuck, curl, pull it in, root lock. Inhale back out. Other side, your breath, make it a dance. Let's come back to center. We are going to wag the tail. Lift the pads of the feet up and try to look at the pads with your eyeballs. And you can go slowly and methodic here to the other side and walk it out on your own. Remember, yoga is always more pleasurable and fun when we seriously follow our breath. Because that's what yoga is about, our breath. Back to center, barrel rolls. Gonna, it might be a pipe roll today, so here's a pipe roll, here's a barrel roll. Yeah. You do that three or four times and return, reverse and go the other way three or four times. Let's come back to center. We'll do a camo real quick, modified camo. Just take the hands, reverse them in the kidney area. Take your pelvis, try to marry it to imaginary wall. 
and try to look at the wall behind you. If you want to go deeper in your camo, you grab one heel, the other heel, and then press your pelvis forward. Let's sliver down onto the mat. Superhero spinal balance. Right hand, left leg. Reach for the walls, not the ceiling. Exhale down as slow as you come back up, other side. Come back to center, bend the back legs for a bow. Modified bow would be roll over on your side, grab one leg. If you can grab both legs, get a death grip on them ankles, try to rip your ankles out of your hand, you'll have bow. If you want to rock and roll, and if you want to roll to one side, push the pelvis forward. Come back to center, superhero. We're flying through the air. <laughs> but we got a turn, there's a telephone pole. And there's a bar, we're gonna turn to the left. Come back to center, a little turbulence, 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 and relax. <laughs> Rise back up, child pose. Extended child, tiger paws out front. Take the bum, forge the heels. Remember this pose anytime you need it. It's available to you. Full child pose, drop the shoulders, hands by the heels. Total relaxation. Yoga's about your breath. Remember child pose. Come back to tabletop, down dog. Lift the bum to the sky. As you exhale, take your heart towards the knees. You can pedal out your dog, do a little yoga moonwalk. It's up to you. At the end of the next exhale, we're gonna walk or hop our feet between the hands and look up, it's called monkey or extended forward fold. To forward fold, hinge from the hips. In forward fold, you can pedal your dog out. Try to look at the wall behind you, bend one knee, take the heart towards the straight leg. Ragdoll, let your head hang like a ripe fruit. Let's bounce to the right till you're about ready to fall over, then to the other side. Your breath. Come back to center, drop them hands, micro bend in the knees, let's roll up one vertebrae at a time, click, 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 the head is heavy, it comes up last. Mountain pose, femur bone, push it into the hamstring or the wall behind you, tuck the pelvis forward, roll the shoulders back. Mountain pose, <laughs> you're as strong as a mountain. On a long inhale, let's drop the head back, reach out, back and up. Reach up and grab the stars. Standing wheel, look at the wall behind you. Forward fold. Always bend the knees if you need to to protect your lower back. Inhale, look up and smile. Health is wealth. Exhale, walk or hop back to plank and do the vinyasa, which is a half of a sun salutation. Plank, slowly lower down into chaturanga. Drop to the knees if you need to. Elbows brushing the ribs. Release the toes, cobra. Up dog, roll the shoulders back, down dog. And you would do, hold this for five breaths. We'll call that one, two, three, four, five. And then you hop or skip the feet between the hands and look up to monkey. Forward fold. We're going to go right into Sun Salutation B, bend the knee, knees, chair. So your chair might be here today. It might be Ardha Utkanasana, sink a little lower. 
We're gonna rise up into standing wheel, root your feet into the ground, reach for the stars, look at the wall behind you. Forward fold. Always bend the knees if you need to. <laughs> Inhale, look up. Oops. Excuse me a minute. Inhale, look up. Exhale, walk or hop back to plank. And let's do that vinyasa, chaturanga, elbows brushing the ribs. Release the toes. Cobra. Up dog. Roll the shoulders back. Down dog. Right leg between the hands, warrior one. First step the left leg to the center of the mat. Right leg, you can do a scorpion tail if you want, opening up the back of the standing leg. And as you bring the leg forward, try to bring the knee to the nose and bring the torso with it. Sit that leg down gently, like on rice paper. Turn the back leg, warrior one. Exhale that down. Take that leg back to plank. Slowly lower down into chaturanga, elbows brushing the ribs. Release them toes, cobra. Up dog. Roll the shoulders back. Down dog. Left leg between the hands. Warrior one. Exhale that down. Take that leg back slowly. Lower down. Elbows brushing the ribs. Always drop to the knees if you need to. Release the toes. Cobra. Up dog. Down dog. Dancing warrior. Right leg between the hands. Warrior one. Warrior two. When we go into side angle, remember modifications right here. Otherwise, it might be here. If you want to bind, now would be the time. Back to warrior two, right into peaceful warrior. Warrior two. Pick your front hand up like you're raising a platter to the sky. Warrior two. And it's normally five breaths here. You can take ten. I'm trying to make this short because I'm adding lots of poses. Straighten the front leg. Triangle. Remember we're trying to take the heart over the thigh. The femur bone. Anchor your feet. Thighs of steel. We're going to airplane. We're going to need to step that back foot in to get the nose over the toe. Do about five breaths here. Revolve triangle. So I'm reaching out the crown, anchoring my feet, bringing the left hand down to reach the right foot in the front. It could be here today. It might be here. Stack your shoulders. From here, we're going back to warrior two. Luck down at the big toe first for balance. As you rise back up, you're going to need to do some ankle work and work that toe, ankle back of that extra foot. Then we go to the other side. We cartwheel that down. Take that leg back to plank. Slowly lower down into the to elbows elbow dressing the ribs. Release them toes, cobra. Up dog. Roll the shoulders back. Down dog, other side. So we're going to go straight into side plank super freak. You're going to do the other side on your own of the dancing warrior. Scorpion tail. Kick that leg out. Peel the left hand off the mat. Side plank super freak. Hold that pose as long as you want. It's said to slow down the aging process every time we go our bodies backwards. Ooh, modifications is going to be right here. Kickstand if you need it. So we're going to take that right leg back to scorpion tail. Bring that leg to the outside of the mat. Settle in. Drop onto your back knee. The goal here is to try to take the heart down to the mat. 
Hang out with your breath, go to your edge of sweetness. No pain, maximum gain. Get it while you can, health is wealth. I wish I got a nickel for every time I said that. <laughs> From here we walk the foot over into pigeon. So I'm just trying to touch on all the poses I do in my class and do them fast. So I'm going to try to make this about 30 minutes. If I'm going to get about almost two hours of practice in 30 minutes, it's your job to make them longer, smoother, and sweeter. <laughs> if you want to do seaweed, Leslie, <laughs> It's like seaweed in the ocean. Be careful, you don't want to let the back toes, fan the toes onto the mat. Don't let the back toes slide in when you go down. Keep them rooted back. If you want to look at traffic behind you. So my sweetness has kind of went away here. To find more sweetness, I need to go a little deeper. There it is, I can feel it. The left kidney is opening as I look to the right. As I look to the left, the right kidney opens. You can reach back and tap it. You can do a prayer twist here. Ideally, this elbow would be right on the pad of the foot. If you want to do holy pigeon, it's an option and up to you. First, you can always clasp the hands behind the back and open the heart and the shoulders. Holy pigeon. The modified way to do it, on this side I have to do modifications myself, so I've come up into a star position, grab that leg, put the knee on the mat, and now we're trying to take the knees further apart from each other. Ideally, hand would, one hand would be in Yana Mudra, and <laughs> I'm better on the other side. Right leg back to scorpion tail, you would go to the other side. We're not going to do that here today, but that's your job to pause the tape and do the other side. Walk it out a little bit. Prayer squat. So ideally, we want to mash the fingertips together perfectly as we can, bring the pads of the hands together. We want a war going on here and here. So as we drop down in, this is called crane or crow. Crane, knees in the armpits. Crow, right here. You want the back arms against the knees or the shins or anywhere that's comfortable to you. It might even come up onto the inner hamstring by the thigh. Any tension, shake it out. Ideally, we're just trying to find bearing weight into the hands. If you want to come all the way up, find your midline, and your feet will just hover off the ground and bring the toes together and look up. Crow. If you want to jump back and do a vinyasa, it's up to you. Cobra. Down dog. Walk it out. Double pigeon. Or just turn around and sit on your bum. Double pigeon. Bring one leg forward and the other leg. Forward fold. Yoga toe hold ideally. You can grab the shins, the outside of the toes. You can grab here. You can do your little scooter when you was a little boy, a little girl. <sighs> Telescope the spine, expand the ribs. Exhale, we're lengthening, pulling disc and vertebrae apart as we lengthen down in. We're using strength to pull our ribs forward. Okay, guard dog. Hey! Chill her out, kiddo. Yogi. <laughs> she needs to let people know she's important. She's doing her job. Rise back up. It's called Tibetan Five, right? Bring the pads to the feet to the edge of the mat. Modifications. Just lift the bum up and take it back down. Otherwise, let's go. Inhale, pelvis to the sky. Reverse tabletop. 
As we exhale, grab root lock, mono bundle, pull your bum between your hands and try to lift up in the back ideally. And you do that 21 times. Your breath. And release. Always move the chi around. Chi flows. Shake it out. Move it around. Let's come up to the front of the mat. Give ourselves a hug. A bear hug. <laughs> Squeeze in like a bear and then lift your shoulders to your ears. Feel the kidney wings rise up the back. Oh yeah. That's <laughs> fine. Rock and roll. Could be here today. <sighs> Try to hit it at the top. It could be here today. <sighs> Whoop, not like that, but <laughs> falling is part of life. <sighs> this can also be done wide legged. Let's go back to plow. Always tuck your head. Look at your navel to protect your neck. I should have told you that before rock and roll. Sorry. Ooh, get that lower back. Well, no, nope, that's another pose. <laughs> so modifications for plow would be right here. If you want to go a little deeper, you would bend the knees into the heart. Work your hands under the bum and ideally up into the kidneys and work them up the back. Plow. Side plow. We are going into shoulder stand. You can do a advanced shoulder stand right here. One hand on the hip towards the kidney. Otherwise, work your hand up the back. Get that 90 degrees in your neck and torso, and then rise up into shoulder stand. Do that as long as you want. Lengthen back down. Every pose has a counter. Notice, fish. It brings beauty and glow to the face. Coughing, stuttering, sleep apnea, thyroid. Roll the bum down onto the hands. Get them deep down into the bum because you're going to need to readjust if you don't. And I usually need to readjust anyway. Pull the elbows into the obliques. Lift up onto the elbows. It's called a tripod. Drop the crown into the nape of the neck. Ha <laughs> ha, fish. Coughing, stuttering, sleep apnea, snoring. <sighs> now I'm not quite in the pose because my crown is not on the mat. So every time I inhale, I lift the heart. Let the crown be a rag doll, come behind. Exhale, drop the crown deeper in the nape of the neck. Fish. If you want to bring beauty and the glow to the face in this pose, you can bite the lemon, squeeze it tight. <laughs> I'll lead you to two more breaths. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, drop the crown. Eyes into the floor, tongue to the sky. Lion or cat's breath. And I love fish. Oh, it feels so good. Really slowly come out of the pose. Poor person in massage. Notice how the body's constantly going this way and this way. It's kind of like Spider-Man hands, which I didn't do at the beginning. <laughs> Mini bridge, bridge, and upward facing bow. <laughs> I didn't ask you to come over here and lick salt off of me, pretty girl. You're a pretty girl, man. You are. Many bridges. Watch my torso and bring the heart to the chin as I inhale. 
As I exhale, I'm going to grab root block, mold bun, and pull the navel to the back in the basement. Pull it into the bottom of the floor. Oh, yeah. Tight, tight, tight. Oh. Mm. You pretty kiddo. Yep, that was a mini breed, Papa. Yep, Papa, that was a mini breed, Papa. It was, Papa. You pretty kiddo. Mm. Are you a yucky dog? Say, Papa, you didn't ask me to come to class. How come, Pop? Hmm? Wanna go get a squirrel? Oh, that woke you up, didn't it? You wanna go get a squirrel, sweetie? Yeah, Papa, you do. Yeah, that's my little squirrel. Come here, sweetie. Yes, it's Shiva. She's the diva. Mm -hmm. All right, you're probably making a yoga video. I'm gonna have to do editing now. Yep. Yeah. Have to do editing. You are pretty, honey. You are. Okay, we got the mini bridge. Now we got bridge. Your bridge can be clean out here. But ideally, we're going to try to grab the ankles, get the bum as close to the heels as we can. Lift the pelvis till you feel the stretch in the thigh. Exhale, pull the belly in. <laughs> Inhale, lift. Exhale, pull the belly in. Lower down one vertebrae at a time. Four persons massage. Upward facing bow. Again, try to get the bum as close to the heels as you can. Take the hands over the head. You can't do this today. This is how I started. You're trying to lift the heart off the mat. Just go, mm, mm, mm. And if you can't do it today, you will do it someday just by doing it that way. Otherwise, try to get up onto the crown. Get another bite toward the hands closer to the heels, then try to straighten the hands and press the ground away. Upward facing bow. You slowly lower it down. Four persons massage. Right kidney, left kidney. Bring the right knee into the armpit, ideally. Toes toward the nose. Hook the left, I mean the right heel on the left thigh. Left hand on the right knee. This is an airplane wing, it reaches out to the left. I mean the right, sorry. <laughs> Lift your head, keep it in line with the spine. Turn it towards the airplane wing. Sit it back down. Oh. Telescope the spine, expand the ribs. Grab Mula Bunda, exhale, take your nose to the airplane wing, your knee to Mother Earth. You can do as many breaths as you want here. When you're done, you rise back up, squeeze the knee in, and go to the other side. <laughs> A little poor person's massage. Happy baby. Yoga toe hold ideally. You want to master happy baby, you lift your heart up and get your knees into the armpits. And you've mastered happy baby. Just don't fall out of the crib. <laughs> Take the knees, legs wide. There's no right or wrong way to do happy baby. If you want to go deeper into the pose, you can roll over to one side. Push your toe into your peace sign. And then bring your shin bone to your chin bone. Yeah. <laughs> you can do archery. Again, bend one knee. Try to push your peace sign, in, your toe into your peace sign. Oh yeah, open up the inner hamstring, the outer calf. Oh yeah.
And normally it's Shavasana here, and I'm going to guide you into Shavasana. Lower back on the mat. As you slide the feet out, that little gap will come back, but it's half as big as it would have been. Ideally, we want to lift the heart, roll the shoulder blades under the heart, set the heart back down, get the head in line with the spine, take rest, palms to the sky. You can do cactus arms, you can do Baddha Konasana. Nourish your body with your breath. Feel the sensation of your breath. Yoga is about the breath, not the pose, and not the person next to you or me. It's a personal journey. Think of your torso as a swell of the ocean and start to breathe with Mother Earth. When the swell comes up, you feel the power of the ocean as your heart comes up with it. Your torso expands. As the swell goes down, your heart descends. Your navel gently goes to the back of the spine. Nourish your body with your breath. As we inhale, search for any tension you haven't worked out throughout your practice. Check your cheek, your tongue, and your jaw. As you exhale, release it and let it go so you can feel the chi flow and you can find more places to unravel, to unwind, to release, to find. Let it go. It might be your little toe. It might be the hair on your head. This is time out time. It's hard to be still and be at one with your life. Your breath is your life and your life is your breath. So at least once a day, nourish your body with your breath. Always feel that sensation of your breath. And when you're all done, you can stretch the legs out. We can windshield wiper the feet by bringing the pads of the feet to the edge of the mat. Drop your windshield wiper blades one way, and the hands sway over the head the other way. You can make a sigh or a hum. Humming is good for coughing, stuttering, sleep apnea, singer's voice, thyroid, and anxieties. You can hum it all away. Hmm. And when you're ready, hum yourself over to your favorite side. Very slowly and methodically push yourself into a seating position. Always take all the time you need. I left out a couple of poses that I think are important, so I'm just going to add them to the end. Raise your hands to the sky. Reach them high. Spread the fingers wide. It's called Spider-Man hands. Press your web into the wall till you feel the muscles hugging the bone. You want to feel the chi little circles. You'll feel the aura around your fingertips. The whole finger. Pull the thumbs in. Wrap your fingers around them thumbs. Never ever stop reaching. Point them wrists straight down. Back to Spider-Man hands. Press. Pull the thumbs in. Repeat that as many times as you like and release. Raise the hands back to the sky. It's called side stretch. Exhale, fingertips first. Inhale and find space. Exhale and descend. Side ribs, obliques. Remember, we can look up or we could look down. No tension in the neck. Every time we inhale, we lengthen. Every time we exhale, we stay right there. We go deeper. Hmm. Move the hand only, reaching for that carrot six inches off the ground. We're getting rid of all the stress in our neck and shoulder where we usually store it. Reach for your carrot, move the nose up and down. Yes and no in all the up and down positions. If you feel a tight spot, don't run or hide from it. Work into the center of your storm. Reach for the carrot. Reach for an inhale and root lock. Ragdoll the head as you reach for the carrot all at the same time and dissolve that tension away. Cruise for any more tension you have in your neck or shoulder. You always take this hand, lift your head, and you do the other side.
Anyway, that's a little short. Um, maybe I can do one more for those that do inversions. So if you're doing inversions, normally we do the split at the wall. The reason for the split, to really go into a handstand, you've got to bump the hips over the wrist and you have a handstand. So just swing, pendulum, lift. Always pressing the ground away, pressing, 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 save enough energy to come down, like you're coming down on rice paper. Wow. Namaste. Have a wonderful day.